I've got a Molex plug on solar panel. I want to remove it. I'm going to change the type of plug I'm using. Um, and I don't want to destroy the plug. I mean, they're not that expensive, but still uh, no point in ruining it if I have to, if I don't have to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you how to remove the pins out of here without doing a lot of damage so you can reuse one of these. Okay, let's get started. So let's take a look and see how these are put together and that'll be pretty obvious how they come apart. Um, so this is the one connector. It's not exactly like the one I just showed. This is a four pin connector. And the female, in this case is a female pin, goes in there and it's pushed in from the back side so the wire would be attached down here where my finger is. And it goes in there. You see those two things that are coming out of there? Those two little uh, ears that are uh, out coming out of the side of there, that's what holds it in place. So we need to push those down and then the rest of it is just uh, This is where the connection is made. The male pin would go in here. The male pin looks exactly like this except obviously it's the male side and has these same two ears. So again, it's just insert, inserted in there. The wire would be there. It snaps into place. And so what we need to do is we need to push something down inside there that will compress those two ears and then this will just slip right out. Okay, so let me show you how I do that. Going back to the two pin variety, you can see that two of those ears in here, you can see the two ears. There's one on this side, and then there's one just opposite over there. And what I'm gonna do is I need to stick this fine instrument, whatever you're using, down inside there, compress that ear, and go over and compress the ear on that side. I uh, cut away one of these old plugs just so you can see how this sits in here. And you can see those two ears on either side. They engage with a plastic skirt right there. And so it won't allow the, pull, the pin to be pulled out. So again, if we squeeze these ears down, then the pin will come out with just a little effort. Now I have not been successful in doing this on camera. Uh, and holding it in focus. I'll give it a try. Um, but anyway, let's do that. So, first I'll do the back side. And then I will do this side. You can see the screwdriver going down in there. And it will mash that ear up against there. And I always kind of go a little bit around that area to make sure I get it right. Let's see if it'll come out of there. Nope, I don't have one of the ears mashed all the way down. Well, as often as the case, I could not get it done on camera. But these are the two pins removed. As you can see, the upper pin, I've already spread out these ears. Just use a knife, stuck it in underneath there and lift them out. And here is the pin as it came out. Just uh, the ears have been flattened down inside there. And that's pretty much it. You just get the ears flattened, uh, pull it out of the connector. Sometimes it takes a little bit of force, but it's not much. And then again, when you're ready to reuse it, you expand the ears, push it back in the plug, in the plastic part of the plug and you're ready to go. So anyway, this is the best way I've found to get the pins out of one of these uh, Amphenol or Molex connectors uh, without destroying the connector and being able to reuse it. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics and electrical work.